Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here. Well, things are about to get crazy around here. If you think I'm a lunatic now, just wait. You ain't seen nothing yet. You know, as I've tried to distance myself further from the absurdities of much of the Mars anomaly community and finding ways to prove what is and what isn't, I've stumbled onto some great things and great people. No nonsense people like Chris Maroney of Mars Anomalies and Beyond and David Gannett of Mars X3D, the evidence. Of course, the X stands for Crossview. Now, these are highly intelligent, talented people who aren't out to fool anyone. Now, they're after the truth and they offer you their discoveries and ideas, yet in very different ways as do I. Now recently, I've been in contact with another guy whose research has proven itself invaluable. Keith Laney is a digital imaging and software applications specialist. And we're talking about a hobby here. The guy's done image processing for NASA. He knows what he's doing. Now if you've seen a gigapan such as this, he may very well have been the one who created it. Now, He's not the only one doing this, and we'll discuss that in the next production as well as the data they use to produce these truly stunning panoramas. Keith's render of this 30-foot rise has exposed some things of which you really need to be aware. Now, Keith Laney created this panorama after carefully rendering the individual right mast cam images derived from the PDS Geosciences node, a PDS meaning planetary data system. So far, I've not located the matching left mast cam imagery in order to create stereoscopic imagery, so for now we don't have that help, but we will proceed without it. Now the first thing that I would like to get out of the way is this. I've seen some videos out there claiming this to be a bird and you know I do understand how it does appear but it's not a bird folks now we do have this image taken a further distance away but one Martian day later and I'm pretty sure that object right there is our so-called bird and my problem here is that it is still there a day later. Very doubtful that would be the case. And in addition, do you see this? Now, I would guess that's a support of some type for whatever this object may be. Now, this may well be an associated object here, but look, I'm seeing something similar to this. Now, I'm not suggesting they're actually turbines, but they do appear to be circular with something situated right smack dab in the middle. So let's consider what else we have right here on Earth that resembles that, but that also works best when situated up high. Hmm, maybe. Maybe we should not rule this out just yet. So let's say we head up top and see if there's anything similar to this up there. Because if there are communication antennas present, there's likely a reason for the chosen location. And so you'd think there'd perhaps be more. Remember, this is about 30 feet in height which is slightly taller than a typical two-story building. One other thing first, please ignore this. And this is the proper place to use the term anomaly. This is a camera malfunction anomaly that showed up in hundreds of consecutive right mast cam images in precisely the same position each and every time. And it does not show up in the left 
mast cam images taken simultaneously. Remember, this panoramic image is made from dozens of individual images. And so you'll see this repeatedly. And that includes uh, down below. I say this because it never fails. I'll get email dedicated to this. And trust me, we've checked it out. So instead of slowly crawling around the perimeter of this thing, which can get really boring, I decided to just kind of show you some images that I've picked out uh, along the perimeter that I suspect could be receivers or transmitters or transceivers. A lot of other things as well along the top of this so-called butte that really seem out of place for a desolate planet that supposedly has no life nor never has had any life. It's a bunch of bull folks. It is a big, 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 did I say big? lie. There is so much wrong with this image in general and it doesn't matter which source image we're looking at whether it's a gigapan rendered differently or by someone else or it's one of NASA's renders it's all the same. This particular render by Keith Laney where these images are coming from is just much clearer. And the fact there is so much wrong here becomes clearer as well. Uh, they're giving us trash, folks. And I'm not going to come out and say what I really want to say quite yet. And what I've done here is we're moving away from just the edge and just showing you a selected few things that I picked out. You know, and I, I really want you to uh, follow the link in the description and look around for yourself. When you do, you know something just isn't right, but you can't quite figure it out, you know. And this is only a trite few of the many, many things you're going to find. So, happy Easter egg hunting. You know, my friend Chris Moroni at Mars Anomalies and Beyond continues to marvel at how you'll see something that appears to be something significant, you know, in pretty much all the rover images but you know from a distance it seems significant but when you zoom in it's well it suddenly just saturates your visual interpretation into a i don't know a pile of useless dog crap okay i said that not him but that's what he wants to say and he knows it admit it chris and no it doesn't necessarily pixelate it just sort of becomes non-defined while the immediate area around it does not now why is this what is this digital imagery phenomenon that we've become all too accustomed to when viewing images from Mars? Is it there simply to drive people like me mad? Well, it ain't right. I've actually been told this before. Mars is a long ways away, dummy. You can't expect all the images to be perfect. Give NASA a break. Um, excuse me? Yes, I most certainly can expect that. It doesn't matter if the data comes from three feet away or 300 trillion feet away. If I receive it, I expect fidelity. 
Uh, the matter of me being a dummy is not germane to the situation. Now, this particular production was intended to dispel the bird notion while suggesting that instead we have something you know, completely insane going on on this Martian so-called butte. I want you to think about this. Who else out there sees metal? Look at that. Now, what's up with that? And I've said this before elsewhere, but this outdoor flooring is not dirt, sand, or mud. It is digitally painted on or added on, if that sounds better. Now, the clarity of Keith Laney's render makes it much more evident, to me at least. What's up with this? I've seen this elsewhere, and really in all of the rover Martian imagery. Visit the Gigapan, look around, and I'm going to tell you what's going on in the next video. See you then, y'all.